Hello everyone, this is Babamots. Welcome to some more Homeworlds commentary. It seems like ages since I did a Winsome Sniper game, so that's what we've got today. Winsome Sniper versus Crit. And this is, uh, it, it's an older game since, well, <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, I bookmarked this a long time ago, January 2024, um, casting it in June. Sniper, ah, red stars. Don't feel like I see a lot of red stars lately. Sniper takes a red banker, crit takes a red fortress. I don't like, I don't like fortresses, and I like red for fortresses not at all these days. Um, both trading for blue, which opens up the mediums. Each takes one. Sniper trades, trades for the medium yellow. Crit also trades for the medium yellow, so do they both take the... I thought they might both build the medium blues. Uh, instead, they push the blue forward. Still mirroring. Okay, Crit breaks the mirror just a little bit by trading for the small red instead of the medium. Okay, Sniper builds more yellow, Crit builds more red. Sniper spreads out the yellow, Crit trades for yellow. Okay, so this is a place where I I, I think about this all the time in my games, don't always mention it when I see it happen. I, this is, feels like a fairly clear case of it, though, where they've got the same number of ships, and they've had at this point, the same number of turns. Oh, when when did Sniper lose a beat? Did Sniper move to their homeworld in two moves? They did. Yeah, they, so they moved out twice. Crit only moved out once and then build, built the rest here. Okay, so that's how so each player has lost one tempo. Sniper by moving into the colony twice. Crit by trading for yellow twice. So I guess... What what I wanted to say here is you can save time in the early game by only ever moving one ship out of your homeworld and then building the rest of your fleet from that one ship. You can also save time by never trading for the same color twice. You build one of that ship and then you, you, you trade for that color once and then build all other ships of that color from that one ship. Um it's pretty tough to do both of those things 100% in a game. Um, but sometimes that uh, that tempo adds up. So if you see opportunities to play that way, then it's often for the best. Okay, Crit takes that medium yellow at home, accepting that the large yellows are open. Sniper takes one, so does Crit. All right, each of them, I don't think either of them can overpopulate uh, profitably. So are they gonna, is Sniper gonna spread out and threaten to build the other large? No. Putting it back in the bank, getting a medium green, leapfrogging over the, well, I guess I, no, I, I say that Sacrificing a medium or larger green in order to build past smaller greens is a leapfrog. What is it, a, a rook maneuver where there are smalls blocking the medium greens, but you were able to get a, a medium yellow and you trade for it? Uh, seems like that might need a name too, but I'm not going to come up with one right now. Okay, crit spreading out the yellow. And some sniper also spreading out the yellow. So if either of them builds the medium, the other gets the large. Uh, sniper, however, has a medium green. They could sacrifice to get both the medium and the large yellow, while crit would have to sacrifice their large green to take both, and um, wouldn't come out so much ahead in material. Looks like they're going to do it anyway. They get a free. An additional build action, um, blue or red. Nope, changed their mind. 
going to discover that Y3 as a star. Sniper, I think we'll build that, uh, that Y2. Yeah. And so crit now, I, I kind of don't like this. They've put their only blue in a position where it can't build. Crit doesn't even have small greens to sacrifice to build with it there. My, uh, my supposition is that crit wants to trade that, uh, that b2 for g2, and then can sacrifice to build the y3 someplace. So sniper's time to capitalize on Well, I guess I was going to say uh, an advantage in yellow, but I guess they actually have the same amount of yellow, approximately. Sniper's got actually a little less. Okay, crit not doing that, however. Just building a green. Sniper takes a red. It would be pretty reasonable for crit to build another uh to build that r2 since sniper wouldn't be able to build the r3 oh really sniper huh sacrificing the y2 to reposition both large ships replace the mothership putting the original green mothership in the Electra colony, threatening to capture that B2, which is great, but also uh, setting themselves up to sacrifice, the, make, making a very strong investment, sacrifice the G3 to build the Y3. Uh, not coming out ahead in material so much as just uh, taking away crit's potential to do that later, I think. Uh, not a terrible move, but it leaves it leaves the all that would have left the Altair colony without a yellow, and I think Sniper should really be thinking about spreading out their their reds to build the R threes that are open. Altair would also be left without a large ship, so Crit might invade with their Y three. Uh, spreading out the reds, I think, is better. And discovering that little blue doesn't hurt either. It opens up the medium. Crit's not in a great position from building more blue. Hmm. And discovering that R3 star, I think, is the opposite of what you want to do here. That makes it so there's only one red in the bank, one red three in the bank. If Sniper builds it, Crit can't even build an R3 of their own. But crit commits. What, uh... Crit, what are you doing? What good could possibly come of that discovery? No, I don't see it. Okay, sniper builds the R3. What's your plan, crit? Spreading out the green. Nothing? Oh, I th that was... I think that was just a, a huge blunder. Um... Yeah, crit need crit needs to spread out these reds, so that well they they needed to two turns ago instead of so when there are large ships opening up, you need to foresee who is going to get to build which one, and decide do I want to. Um, arrange the situation so that we both get an equal amount? Or do I want to try to block it from happening at all? Or, I mean, of course, if you can make it so that you get more of those bigger ships than your opponent, that's great. Um, try to make it so it's at least equal when you're building, and don't do what Crit did, which was actually turned the bank against themselves, where... Crit didn't have a safe place to build red, and even if they had had a safe place to build red, they made it so there was only one red to build and made sure that Sniper would get it. Uh, and Sniper is, is doing the right thing. While Crit can't build that R3, 
Sniper's putting red threes back in the bank so that uh, crit can't build them, but has to respond to Sniper's opportunity to build it next. Uh, and crit, uh, gosh, just ignoring that. I, I think, um, is crit rusty? Maybe they were rusty back in January. Um, although I, I have to admit, I have a game that looks about like this right now, where I, I'm just making mistake after mistake, and uh, Tim is crushing me. <laughs> Um, sniper sacrificing the G2 for, okay, a mi mini factory, um, sacrificing the G2 and rebuilding it to have a spare build action to build that R3 in a system where, uh, sniper didn't have gr access to green otherwise. Yeah, that's a great move. That, that's, uh, that's a safer place to be building, uh, things since there's a there's some danger of a supernova in altair um crit's got the y3 they've got a couple of greens they could spare okay factory time um medium green large green build and the b2 um Yeah. I don't like that very much. Sniper can overpopulate the caster star pretty cheaply. Y2, G2. Crit loses slightly more there. Crit can't afford to lose that much. Winsome Sniper's got more material, so even an even exchange favors Sniper. And if Sniper were to build the B3... Um, crit could overpopulate it, but they'd have to sacrifice a G, a Y2 to do it. Move the blue over there. And I just overall think that also favors Sniper. E even though Sniper's losing a lot more material, uh, Sniper's got the material to spare. Yeah, I don't love this. I think Sniper's got a couple of good choices. Sacrificing the Y1. Okay, to threaten the, the blues. Didn't do either of the things I was thinking. Just cashing in on their uh, considerable material lead. Um, Crit does have a factory, though. So does Sniper. So Crit builds a defender. Sniper can't capture all of those. And if Sniper were to... I mean, if Sniper captures just one of them, then Crit will probably build the last one for the overpopulation. But boy, that's a lot of material they're losing. Yeah, Sniper, I think, makes the right choice. Just capture that B3, and Crit says to Crit, sure, if you want to overpopulate what used to be just two of your mediums, I mean, that's, that's effectively what's happened over the last few turns. You want to overpopulate the only two blue ships you've got, then that's just fine by me. Yep, big gains for Sniper. Using the factory. Um, crit has no blue left, so it's safe for Sniper to build that B3. Or, or I guess it's just B2 now, since the banks got plugged up. But yeah, Sniper's really got this under control. Um... I'll try not to go too fast, just in case Crit pulls a rabbit out of the hat, but uh, I don't foresee any rabbits. Sniper's got enough. Uh, so one of the things about a fortress is with the small ships gone, with the small ships all taken up, I should say, with the small pieces being ships rather than stars, it can be hard to get into the the fortress. But that's not going to be an issue here. Sniper, they, they had to terraform one of their, they had to terraform their Y sh one ship to do it, but they've very safely got, uh, well, relatively safely, these, these ships don't have medium 
don't have very large defenders, but uh, crit doesn't have the time or ships to spare to do anything about it. Um, it's not, I, I shouldn't have advanced just yet. So crit's going on the offensive, but what should happen in the next couple of turns... Oh, and, and that's... So crit's invasion here will, will actually help to slow this down. But if sniper sacrifice... Well... Mm, Yeah, if they sacrifice the... Well, there's a couple of different ways this could go. Let's say they sacrifice the Y2, move in two reds. Crit doesn't have any way of dealing with the, the two red invaders. Well, I mean, they can capture them, but it's not enough. Sniper moves in with the, the fourth red to overpopulate Crit's uh, red star. And then Sniper just needs to sacrifice the Y3. Move in the three blues for the win. Um, one thing that moving this G2 into Sniper's home does is uh, Sniper can't ignore the that G2 so well. And in particular, they can't safely sacrifice that Y2 and start their invasion. I mean, there, there are other con uh, ways they could do that invasion. They could move in just the... Move in just the R1 first, and then sacrifice Y3 to move in two reds, overpopulate, hyperspace bypass, Altair is now connected to Crit's home. They also move in the B3, which Crit has to respond to by capturing, then Sniper sacrifices the Y2 to move in the two remaining blues for the win. So there are ways that Sniper could postpone the sacrifice of this Y2 until it's safer. Um, kind of getting around this, but I, I think Sniper will want to respond to this. I, I don't... Um, so Crit does this. If Sniper just captures, Crit can sacrifice Y2 to move in the over, for the overpopulation. Sniper loses their mothership, but uh, Crit doesn't lose a large... I think Sniper's still way ahead. <laughs> um, Crit doing... Uh, green teleport sacrificing the g2 losing their um their factory but putting some more pressure on sniper's mothership uh but ultimately sniper can just trade for blue and and avoid this problem uh crit getting a, looking a little desperate green teleporting their mothership into sniper's home and not building anything else because there's nothing else that they could build. There's only blue in the bank. Okay, so Sniper has to respond to this. Can't start the invasion yet. Um, well, strictly speaking, there might be a way that Sniper could start their invasion. Sacrifice the Y3, move like the blue 3 into Crit's home, and re reinforcing their home so that... Uh, there, there might be a good way to do this. Sacrifice, uh, sacrificing for the double capture. I don't think that's actually wise. I think Sniper should keep... Um, Sniper had... Uh, I don't think this is really a crack in the dam. I don't think Crit's coming back. But I don't like this. It's going to prolong the game. That's a red that Sniper had on the front lines that was ready to knock out one of Crit's stars. That's not there anymore. So that's a that's a slowdown for Sniper's star demolition win plan. But of course, Crit no longer has a mothership. So there's a, a decent chance Sniper gets into Crit's home especially if, if crit carries through with with this which they do um they carried through with the plan to overpopulate sniper's mothership but neither player has a mothership sniper has plenty of red to spare um sacrifices the y3 reinforces with red and invades sacrificing the y3 is not going to be enough 
building a yacht, two yellows. No, that's a re resignation move. Uh, sniper sacrifices R3 to capture all of them. And, uh, yeah, sniper wins. Okay, yeah, um, there were probably a few other things, but really what stuck out to me was uh, crit discovering that R3 star really turned the bank against them. Uh, and Sniper just walked all over him from there. Then, then the, in the next couple of moves, I think Crit could have done better things to recover from that, but Sniper built up so much material that it was all over. Um, anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's a game off my large list of games I've bookmarked, and I thought, oh, I should cast this. Uh, thanks for watching.